Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Destiny 2 is touching distance away and at this point you'll probably already know if you're going to buy it or not. But you may not be sure which platform is best for you. It's going to be difficult for gamers to turn down that slick 60 frames per second only offered by the PC experience. But PlayStation have maintained their relationship with Activision and have a truckload of exclusives which Xbox and PC just won't get their hands on for at least a year after PlayStation. Whatever platform you choose, you're going to have a cracking time, but let's quickly break down all the content we'll be receiving on the PlayStation 4. You will find an additional competitive multiplayer map, a three-player corp strike, a unique ship, three specialised gear sets and an exclusive exotic weapon. I'm starting with that exotic weapon because this looks insanely good. In a universe where elemental damage is imperative, then this bad boy will have your back. It possesses all three damage types. The Borealis can switch between Solar Void and Arc at will, making it a top tier weapon for any self-respecting sniper. In terms of looking unique in Destiny, we've always had awesome armour sets to switch up and mix around. On PlayStation, you'll find access to three more exclusive gear sets. For you Titan mains out there, there is Terra Concord, which isn't too shabby at all. The Warlocks receive the Tesseract Trace, which is pretty sexy. But my fellow hunters, we will get our hands on the Icarus Drifter, which will look amazing once I've applied my bright pink shader to it. All PlayStation 4 players will also be able to take charge of the City Apex Ship 2. This cute little number comes in a snazzy metallic blue and white, perfect for your interstellar travels. There's even more too. An exclusive Crucible map aptly named Retribution is also available on the PlayStation, in which Lord Shax has taken over a fleet of the Red Legion's capital ships and uses them for training guardians. And finally, the exclusive strike mission takes place in the European Dead Zone here on Earth and has us resisting a taken threat, attempting to claim an area from our grasps. The Lake of Shadows will also see our guardians preventing the Red Legion from constructing a bridge which opens time. Could that sound any more epic? A quick note that Destiny 2's release date has been pushed forward a couple of days to September the 6th. As always, PlayStation users who have pre-ordered will get early access to the beta on July 18th before any other platform. What do you think to this additional content on PlayStation? Happy, delighted, delirious, ecstatic? Or are you against the whole console exclusives thing? I'm bloody happy about this one, especially that sexy sniper rifle. Let's just look at it one more time. Oh, it's gorgeous. Roll on September the 6th. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.